Hey everybody, CGI Automotive Services. We're gonna be filming a video today on changing the oil on a 2017 Honda Civic with 2.0. Tools needed, you need a little filter wrench, 17 millimeter ratchet and socket, your funnel, gonna need that rag right there for sure. I'm using a Wix filter, it's part number there. And this is just some full synthetic 020 O'Reilly brand oil. And you will need that whole, whole five quarts right there. So we'll get into the vehicle and then we'll start draining it. All right, guys, we're up under the vehicle, We're about to drain the oil. So here's the oil pan plug, 17 millimeter. It is labeled right here. This is like right next to this little uh, exhaust pipe so pretty easy to find so guys I'm sorry if you cannot see what I'm doing here I'm trying to position the Somebody put this thing on here tight. One second, guys. There's always an answer for that. Just so you know, you don't ever want to put it on that tight. That's a little bit too tight. This is a breaker bar with a freaking adapter, 3H drive adapter. So, oh man. Incredible Hulk got up on that one. Sheesh. Right. Now that that's broke loose, we'll switch back over to the ratchet. Oh, man, still tight. But uh, these ramps, man, I don't got a shop with a lift and all that nice stuff, so maybe we'll get there one day. Position the drip pan. Take it off. Let it drain. So, I mean, you can wait if you want to. There's no really, uh, you know, there's not really a reason to wait. But another reason why I use big drip pans is because as it's draining, See that filter is right there. So it's really like directly behind it. So I'm gonna move my pan over. It's still gonna be catching the oil. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off this filter. Let it drain out to save some time. Ah, uh, that's weird. Don't look. So my little thing is uh, not not small enough. So I'm gonna try to take it off with these big freaking channel locks. Oh, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> Sorry for this. You know, not not really supposed to do it like that. I mean, I guess you can. Don't hurt nothing. As long as you're not putting it on like that. <laughs> All right, guys, just like any other oil change, after you take out the filter, you want to inspect that the little O-ring is, came off with the filter. If that is still on there, you're gonna get a leak if you put the other one on there. It's not gonna seal right, so. All right, All right guys, we're back with the right filter. So they did give us the wrong one this is the one that you want to use five seven three five six this is a wix filter so we're gonna go ahead and prime it with the oil hope this doesn't turn into a disaster a little bit more some 
important you do this so whenever you start it it's not running dry Cap that bad boy off. Just a little bit of oil. Stick your finger, rub around the O-ring. Help get a good seal. Right. It's right up here. Yeah, these are just gonna be hand tight. Hand tight, just like every other filter. All right, clean off this little oil residue. Take our plug and put it back in. Torque specs will be in the description. Remember guys, if y'all don't have a, you know, a torque wrench, most likely if you're doing it yourself and you don't normally work on stuff, you probably won't have a torque wrench. So you don't want to put it tight like the last one when I was busting it off. So get it kind of snug like that. And then like one more little turn like that, like a little eighth turn or quarter turn, whatever. And that, that is good enough. After that, you get your little funnel. Ugh, hold on. I'm not gonna record this because it's gonna turn into a mess. But you're gonna put that whole five core deal into the fill point. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, guys, we just got the oil poured. So we got all the tools and stuff out from under it. I'm gonna pull it off. And then we're gonna check the oil level. Let it run for a second. We're gonna check our oil level. Can you hold this up? Got the engine oil dipstick right here. Clean wipe. That oil needs to be this hash mark right here or somewhere between there, but it should be right on it. Yeah, looking good. All right, now we check fluid levels. We're gonna clear the oil reset. So we're gonna turn the key on. Do not start the engine. I'm just going to use this little trip button. So basically, it will have a percentage on there. This car has been past due for a while, so it's going to have the miles past due. But basically, you're going to keep going until you either see the oil percentage or this screen. And you're going to hold it down, this button up right here. And the whole thing should start blinking. It's going to take a minute. So it's blinking. You're going to release. Hold down again. And there it is. Completely reset. And that's how you do oil change on 2017 Honda Civic.